I never considered myself artistic or anything. When I was drawing, and I used to draw faces when I was younger, I used to do it almost mathematically. And I always thought to myself, I'm just cheating here because all I'm doing is I'm like measuring, okay, that's like one down, two across. And then I was just doing it like mathematically. And I thought, this is an art, this is maths. And uh, I could get away with doing a good drawing, but I never did good on the other side of the art studies, which is uh, research and writing and history and all that. Yeah, that was a big part of my school years, gambling. Um, I loved it, really, we, a lot of us loved it. And again, that was playing into my ability with numbers and maths and particular statistics and uh, analyzing, you know, I guess, but also psychology. And, um, and it was a competitive environment. So this was a great way to compete. And it was a great way to make a bit of money on the side. So, uh, uh, like, what what do you think are the benefits uh, for for other people and and in general of people taking up a martial art? Yeah, I mean, different schools were emphasised the spiritual aspects of, of training in different amounts, but certainly you can't help but notice some of it in play, and even uh, the camaraderie aspect and when you're training intensely around other humans, there's a bonding that's going on there. And you, I always focus on efficiency. So the way I saw it was, I couldn't afford to have an adrenaline dump in a fight because I'd be screwed. And if you look at my fights, what happened was, I only lost four fights. All of them were by decision or split decision. And um, I would be doing great in the first round, not so good in the second round, <laughs> bad in the third round. <laughs> <laughs> and, and can you tell us more, a little, a little bit more about like um, the meaning of Tai Chi and, and sort of maybe just describe it a little bit to, to us? Well, it's an ancient Chinese Taoist martial art um, based very much on the philosophy of yin yang or duality and the study of nature. And you're just trying to harmonize with the principles of the universe and um, you're trying to become more aware of the body the mind the spirit how they can all harmonize the energy you're putting out will determine what kind of reactions you attract to yourself that's something very important for people to understand because it's not just to do with fighting it's to do with all events in our lives whatever you're putting out you get back so People wonder why they're getting in fights every time. They're not looking at their own thoughts, intentions, behaviors. Because what I found is life sucks when they go out of alignment and when they're in alignment, life is great. So once I became aware of that, I have to try and um, consciously maintain alignment and keep bringing things back into alignment because I want to enjoy my life. Um, how do you basically teach or cultivate self-awareness? Good question. And um, again, it's through the practices that have been handed down to us, whether it's meditation, yoga, tai chi. Um, I think the best, a great way to do it is through stillness and observation, removing mm -hmm. outside stimuli and going inside and just observing and listening to what's actually going on. And um, because most people don't do that. Uh, CBD is from the cannabis plant and hemp is cannabis plant. And if you look at hemp, you look at how amazing it is from the, from how it grows to what its uses are, to what its benefits are from the stalk and the stem to the seeds, to the flowers, every part of it, from the way it's growing around the world, the way it grows quickly, um, and then the relationship and the history with humans and hemp, then it's a no-brainer. Waking at dawn, packing the